33 and one third percent of 48 plus 12 and one half percent of 96 minus 44 and 4 over 9 percent of 27. Ano kaya yung sagot dito? And by the way, ito ay random post dito sa hindi lang sa Philippine Civil, Civil Service Review for All. Sa iba't ibang mga FB groups, lagi na ito na uulit. 2018, anong taon na ngayon? 2023, meron at meron pa rin nagpo-post nito. Meron na tayong na-post na ganito sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Ganito lang ang pag-search. I-type nyo lang yung 33 and one-third percent tapos idugtong lang yung Leonalyn. Makita nyo na mga tatlong mga tatlong videos yata yon kasi yung isang video ay iniisa-isa natin itong mga percent na yan. So anyway, sa FB page na to, gawa natin to ng uh, explain natin kung paano nga ba ito sagutan. Unang una, kapag sinabing per cent, per cent means 100. So, per cent means per 100. Dito tayo sa 33 and 1 third per cent. Again, per 100. So, pariho lang yan sa 33 and 1 third per 100. Anong ibig sabihin ng per 100 na yan? That means... 33 and one-third divided by 100. So, sa division of fraction, kailangan itong mixed fraction na to ay gawin natin improper fraction. 33 times 3, and that is 99 plus 1, 100. So, 100 over 3, ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal ni 100 ay 1 over 100. Pwede naman natin itong i-cancel. So, ang natitira na lang dito ay one-third. So, therefore, this is one-third. Ang of multiplication, i-multiply sa 48. Next. Dito muna tayo sa 12. 12 and one-half percent means 12 and one-half percent. Per 100. Ang ibig sabihin niyan ay 12 and 1 half divided by 100. Again, mixed fraction or mixed number, kailangan natin yang going improper fraction. 12 times 2 equals 24 plus 1. This is 25. Therefore, 25 over 2. Yung division maging multiplication reciprocal ni 100, 1 over 100. Para mas madali na lang, ito ay ilis na natin yan, yung 25 at 100. Ilang 25 basa 100? 4. So this one is 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 4 equals 8. So therefore, itong 12 and 1 half percent that means 1 over 8. Ang of multiplication at kopyahin si 96. Next, dito tayo sa 44. 4 over 9 percent means 44. 4 over 9 per 100. Ang ibig sabihin nito, 44. 4 over 9 divided by 100. Again, itong mixed number na to or mixed fraction, kailangan natin gawing improper fraction. 44 times 9, and this is 396 plus 4, so this is 400 at kopyahin yung 9 na denominator. Ang division maging multiplication, a reciprocal ni 101 over 100. Pwede naman natin itong ilist. 
So ang 400 magiging 4, pero si 100 sa baba magiging 1 na lang. 4 times 1 and this is 4. 9 times 1 and this is 9. So therefore, itong 44 and 4 over 9 percent ay pariho lang yan sa 4 over 9. Ang of multiplication, kopyahin si 27. So, ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-solve. Kopyahin muna natin yung mismong addition dito at yung subtraction. Now, we must follow order of operations para ma-solve natin yan correctly. Now, wala na tayo, wala man tayong parenthesis, wala tayong exponent dyan, Pero mayroon tayong multiplication. Wala na tayong division. So, remember, ang multiplication and division, they rank equally. Kaya we will solve them from left to right. So, anyway, multiplication ang nandyan. Tapos, mayroon tayong addition and subtraction. Anyway, addition and subtraction, they rank equally. Kaya we will solve them, whichever comes first, from left to right. Anyway, nauna naman si addition dito, so hindi kayo mahirapan kasi marami nalilito nito pag addition at subtraction. So, unahin natin tong one-third times 48. Isa isahin natin yan. One-third times 48. Ang shortcut ay 48 divided by 3 and this is equal to 16. Kung dahan-dahanin natin to, always remember, lahat ng mga whole number, ito 48 na to, meron yung automatic na 1. Now, sa multiplication fraction, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator ang pag-multiply. Kaya 48 divided by 3, and this is 16. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay 16. Next. 1, 8, ito. 1, 8 times 96. Pwede yung shortcut dyan. 96 divided by 8. And this is 12. Pero kung gusto nyong detalye, remember lahat ng mga numbers mayroong automatic na 1 na denominator niyan. So multiplication of fraction, numerator to numerator. Denominator to denominator. So 96 divided by 8 and this is 12. So therefore, ito ay... 12. Next. 4 over 9. Ito tayo. Times 27. Pwede naman natin yung i-directa. 27 divided by 9 and this is 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. Pero kung gusto nyo ng detalye, remember lahat ng whole numbers mayroong automatic na 1 na denominator. So, numerator to numerator, yan yung i-multiply natin. So, 27 times 4, this is 108. 9 times 1, and this is 9. So, 108 divided by 9, and this is equal to 12. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay, ito ay 12. Now, wag kalimutan yung addition at subtraction. Now, so order of operations, ang addition at subtraction, they rank equally, kaya we will solve them from left to right, whichever comes first. Nauna si addition. So, yan yung unahin natin. 16 plus 12, and this is 28. 28 minus 12 equals 16. Isa pang paraan. Klaro naman yan na 0 yan siya, 12 minus 12 equals 0. So, direkta na tayo, yan na yung sagot, 16. Para sa iba pang detalye, pwede nyo yung search Ganito lang ang pag-search. 33 and 1 third percent at idugtong lang yung lunalin. Para mas madali nyo ma-sort out yung dati na natin na-upload na mga ganito. Thank you and God bless.